Hey guys, I'm back with part 6 for this tutorial on how to build this large traditional house. Here in this one, we're going to be doing all the interior furnishings for the first floor of the house. I'm going to be starting here at the entrance of the house, and I'm pretty much just going to be adding some light and a few little decorations. So be sure to grab the sea lanterns, and I'm going to be using some gray, white, and brown carpet. And then I have some paintings. So I'll start with these sea lanterns. I'm going to have a carpet just right here on the floor. So I'm going to be sure to carve out a hole so we have a nice light source. So I think that'll be good. We'll go ahead and fill this in with the sea lanterns. That definitely brightened it up in here. And now I'm just going to do a little pattern with the carpet. So a little something like that I think is good. And now we have the paintings. So I'm going to be adding... A couple over here, like a big one, so it looks like a big piece of artwork. And then I'm going to do the same thing going up along the staircase. So, let's go ahead and maybe... Am I able to... No, this is only one block thick. Am I able to cut out any blocks here? Yes, I can. Cool. I could go ahead and add some sea lanterns here so we have a nice light source going up along the staircase. But let me be sure to just replace that. And then we'll fill this in right here with... You know what? I'll just do one sea lantern. We don't have to completely fill all of it in. And then I'm going to have a big painting right here with these six spaces. So I can maybe have that one, that one, and then a couple small ones. And I think that'll be good. Yeah, I think that's a good spot. And now we'll have another one probably right around here. And can we have a sea lantern right here? Yep, okay, I'll go ahead and have one there. And then, let's go ahead and mark out where the painting is gonna be. So I'll maybe go ahead and have a four block one. I think that's good. And then, probably a couple smaller ones. And let's see if that's a good spot. Yeah, I think that looks good. So we have two big pieces of artwork going up along the side of the staircase. And then let's go ahead and do two more over here. Maybe have one right here. And then another one over here. I think that'll be good. And I think those are good. Let's see. I'm actually going to make these four blocks in height. So I'm going to have that one. I think that'll be good. And that I'll do the same thing over here. Just bring it up. And you know what? I think that's good. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do here for the entrance. We're not going to be able to really have a chandelier here. It would just end up being a bit of an awkward shape. So now I'll go ahead and maybe jump on into the dining room next. So here for the dining room, be sure to grab some dark oak wood planks, dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood slabs, spruce wood slabs, spruce door, some brown banners, dark oak fence, chain, lantern, a glow item frame, flower pot, and then I have a bunch of items for within the item frame. And then I have a cake, a fern, anvil, and some jungle leaves. So let's mark out where the table itself is going to be first. So grab the dark oak wood planks. And I'm going to place three just right here in the middle of the room. And then I'm going to have an upside down dark oak wood stair just on each side of those blocks. And then in each corner we'll have the slab. And now you can switch to the dark oak wood slabs. I'm going to have two chairs on the longer side of the table. And then one on each end. And then behind each slab I'll have a spruce door. And then I'm going to go ahead and crouch and place a brown banner up against each of those doors. So this is what the table's looking like so far when we have all the chairs. Now, let's switch to the dark oak fence. I'm going to look right here at this part of the table, look straight up, and hang down the fence like that. And then I'm going to have 
just one chain and it's then the lantern and i'm gonna do another one right here so i'll look straight up fence chain and lantern so it's looking like that and now i'm actually just going to clear all of this and i'll grab the item frames the fern the flower pot and the cake and i'll go ahead and have a flower pot just below each of these lanterns and that i'll have the fern we can have the cake right in the middle and then an item frame in front of each chair and then i'll go ahead and clear all that i'll grab all these food items and place these within each item frame i'll clear that and then let's grab the anvil and the jungle leaves I'm going to have this in each corner. So in each corner on this side of the room and over on this side as well. And there we go. That is actually all I'm going to be doing here for the dining room. I'll go ahead and clear that. And I'll head on into... I guess we could do the kitchen space next. Why not? So I have all the blocks for the kitchen now. And then we also have a sitting area right here. Pretty much like a breakfast table. So be sure to grab the stripped dark oak wood. The spruce wood stairs. Spruce wood slabs. Spruce door. Spruce trap door. Barrels. Sea lantern. Quartz bricks. Hoppers. Campfire. Candle. Oak pressure plate. Bucket of water. Lever. Flint and steel. A flower pot. And then I just have the blue orchid and a fern. And then we have the brown banner, the furnace, a couple food items for within is the glow item frame, and then a lantern. Let's start by marking out where the counters are. So be sure to have the stripped dark oak logs. I'll head on over here first. And I'm going to place three like that. Right here we'll have two hoppers. And then here in the corner, we'll have an upside down spruce witch stair like that over here as well and then a slab right down the middle in the corner and then you can switch back to the stripped dark oak wood and we'll have four right here now we're gonna have the fridge right here where these two spaces are so i have the wood going up three blocks in height like that just straight up and down we'll have one over here at the left we'll have an upside down spruce wood stair above that and then another full block above that. And then we'll have spruce wood slabs on top of it. And now let's go ahead and mark out where the cabinets are. So you can switch to the barrels. I'm just going to be one space above all the counters. I'm going to place four right here. Have another four here. And then I'll do six over here. On top of all those, I'm just going to add some spruce wood slabs. And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and just leave the barrels just as it is, since I still think that looks pretty nice. But you could do one little extra thing, and just add some spruce trap doors to kind of cover up the fronts. So you could just crouch, and place it like that. So if you like this, you could go ahead and maybe just open up the trap door, and then you have access here. And then you could just close it, so it actually looks like the doors to the cabinets or like i said you could just leave it like this because i still think this looks good but i'm just gonna go ahead and do what i did at the original build and add all the trap doors so there we go this is what it's looking like so far let's go ahead and continue with the trap doors cover up the four spaces here where the counter space is. We'll cover up these three spaces here. And then I'm going to be sure to crouch and cover up the hoppers. Now let's mark out where the kitchen island is going to be right here in the middle. So you can switch back to the stripped dark oak wood. I'm going to be two spaces away from that counter and then two spaces away from that one. So let me just place a temporary block so we can then place these kind of like on their side. So, two spaces there, two spaces there. And then I'm going to have another one here, so I'll place another temporary one, place it there. So this is the start of the kitchen island. We'll be here more towards the right. 
We'll bring this over by three. And then let's go ahead and grab the furnace. And I'll just swap out the spruce trap door. Or my bad, just the regular spruce door for now. And then I'll grab the campfires. And let's go ahead and swap out that spruce trap door as well. Right here on the floor, we have these two spaces. We're going to carve that out. We're going to then fill this in with the campfires. On top of that, we'll have the furnaces. And then we can switch back to the stripped dark oak wood. We could crouch and place this up against the furnace. And now, this is pretty much all there is to the kitchen island. So we have the furnaces here with campfires underneath, so it looks like there's something cooking. Now let's go ahead and mark out where the oven hood's gonna be. So you could continue with the stripped dark oak wood. I'm just gonna be right above where the furnaces are. And it's pretty much just gonna be where the beam is. And I'm just going to place probably just two like that. And then underneath that, we'll have the sea lanterns. And then I have the spruce wood stairs. I'm going to place these on each side of those sea lanterns. In each corner, we'll have the slab. I'm going to cover up these sea lanterns with the spruce trap doors so we could grab those again. And then all underneath along the outer edge, we can have the spruce wood slabs to finish this off. And there we go. Now we have the oven hood all marked out. Let's look over here. We can mark out where this table is going to be. So you can continue with the stripped dark oak wood. And I'll place it where these four spaces are right around here. So I'm just going to place a block like that. And then we'll have one here. We can then fix this one so it's in the same direction. And we'll do the same on this side. So one here. Like that. And then we'll fix this one. So yeah, I think this is... This is actually exactly where it should be. I think this will be the best spot. We have three spaces on each side. So this works out pretty good. Now let's grab the spruce wood stair. Or my bad, the spruce wood slab. We're gonna have one in each corner. Just like that. And then behind each of those slabs, we'll have the spruce door. Let's also grab the brown banner. So we have the spruce door behind each slab. And then we'll crouch and have the banner. So now this is just a little... Could be like a little breakfast area. So let's go ahead and grab the glow item frame. And a couple food items. And then I'm also going to use the lantern. And then a flower pot. And probably just a blue orchid. So we could have a glow item frame in each corner like that. Fill it in with the food item have maybe just a lantern for a light source and then a flower pot with the blue orchid so that's all there is for the table and then let's look over here and add all the other features for the main kitchen area so i'm going to have another flower pot maybe right around here on the kitchen island and we could fill that one in with the fern yeah we could go ahead and clear all these items here let's grab the candle the flint and steel, the bucket of water, the lever, oak pressure plate. And then I almost forgot, we have the quartz bricks, which is going to be like a backsplash above the counters. So, let's go ahead and grab the candle. We could just stack up a bunch right here, light that with the flint and steel. And instead, I'm going to crouch and fill in the hoppers with water like that. We could then have these levers, or actually... Let's go ahead and replace these blocks here with the stripped dark oak wood. So it just matches the counters, although you really can't tell the difference between the dark oak wood here and the spruce wood. But I'm going to go ahead and just do it anyway. And have them in that direction like that. So it has a cleaner look as well. And now on top of that, we have the levers pointing towards the hoppers. So that's like the faucet. We could go ahead and switch to the oak pressure plate. Maybe place it right around here so it looks like a cutting board. And now, oh yeah, we could go ahead and replace these as well. And now let's go ahead and replace all these other wood blocks with the quartz bricks. So this would be the backsplash. So we have these two spaces, these two, these two as well. And then we have three right here. And I think that is good. And I think that is actually pretty much everything for all this space. And I'm thinking I am going to add 
maybe a bush right here in the corner so we could grab the anvil and maybe just some jungle leaves and place this right here just so that corner isn't so empty so yeah that's all i'm gonna do here for the kitchen space let's head on into the living room right here next so now i gathered up all the blocks here for the living room be sure to grab the stripped dark oak wood the dark oak wood stairs dark oak wood slabs the spruce trap doors the smooth quartz slabs and then some white carpet gray carpet and brown carpet some sea lanterns anvil jungle leaves white concrete and rud flower pot and is that a couple flowers for within the flower pot so i'll look over here first and i'll mark out where this little couch is going to be so you could grab the stripped dark oak wood and i'm going to leave two spaces here at the right so i'm going to start here on this third space maybe just place two of the wood like that one right here and another two and if they could grab the dark oak wood stairs we'll have one on each side upside down stair in the middle and then a dark oak wood slab on each side with a smooth quartz slab in the middle so we just have kind of like a little couch right here we'll look here at the left and we're going to have a bigger one we're going to have three spaces on each side so it's going to be right in the middle of this wall so you can switch back to the stripped dark oak wood and we'll go ahead and be on this fourth space place two right there do the same on this side so you can see how we have four spaces in the middle We'll go ahead and fill that in with some more of the wood. And with that, you could grab the dark oak wood stairs. We'll have one on each side. And then upside down throughout the middle. And then we can have a slab on each side with the smooth quartz slabs down at the bottom. Let's continue with the stripped dark oak wood. We could have two more right here. So that's going to be a table at the left side of this couch. We could do two over here for another table. And then let's grab the dark oak wood slabs and we can have a little bit of a different table right around here. And now let's switch to the sea lanterns. We're going to carve out a hole right here. So I'm at the edge of this couch, brought it out and brought it to the edge of that couch. And then I'll go ahead and bring it in. Let's go ahead and delete all this. And I think for this particular space, we'll go ahead and just have it like that. We could fill this all in with these sea lanterns, or we could just have maybe one in each corner. You don't have to fill all of this in. So I think this is looking good. So now let's go ahead and just use all the carpet to make a little bit of a pattern. So you could just do this randomly. So I have those and then we can maybe do yeah, that will do brown for the rest. I think that's good. Yeah, I like that. We have the spruce trap doors here. So we're just going to cover up the front side of these tables. And yeah, now we'll go ahead and clear all this. And we'll grab all these other items. So let's use the anvil. We could place one maybe right around there. And one over here. And add the three jungle leaves. And I think that's about all I'm going to do with that. Now let's use the end rod. We can have it right here with a white concrete block. So that looks like a lamp. And we'll do the same thing over here. And then we'll have a flower pot next to that. And then you can use the fern and whichever other flower of your choice. And actually that is everything. Yeah, that's all I'm really going to do here. I'm actually going to have a painting right here. So let me just place a couple blocks and then I'll clear that. I'll grab a painting. And you know what? I like that one. So there we go. Now I am going to leave it at that here for this living room. So we are actually almost done with the entire first floor of the house. Let's go ahead and do a little something here for this hallway so it's not just completely empty. So I'm just going to grab maybe a spruce wood stair, some spruce wood slabs. And I'll have a little table right here. So how about we do this? So just right down the middle of where these windows are. And I could just maybe have a little flower pot right here. You could just grab whichever flower you want. And then on each side we'll have 
maybe each of the skeleton skulls, so the wither one and the regular one. Like that. So we just have a little table here for the hallway now. Let's carry on. And we could do another small table right here. And then we could go ahead and have a carpet in the floor, so I'll carve out these spaces. I'll clear all that. I'll fill this in with some sea lanterns. And then let's grab just whichever color carpet you want. I'll go ahead and maybe use some green and gray. So we have gray here and then the rest of it green. And then over here, I'll just go ahead and clear that. And I'll add a flower pot. And how about a lantern? And then we could just grab another flower. So there we go. Let's go ahead and jump on into this bathroom. So in here, I just gathered up all the main blocks that I usually always have in every bathroom. And that is the smooth quartz stairs, the smooth quartz blocks, and the smooth quartz slabs. So I'll start with the smooth quartz stairs. And I'm going to have the bathtub right here. So I'm just going to curve eight of these facing up all together like that. We could do two different layouts. So we could have some counter space here and have the sink like that. And then maybe have the toilet right here. Or we could go ahead and move the sink over to this side and then have the toilet here, which I think is going to work better. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me just go ahead and clear all those main blocks and we'll grab all of the extra detail. So let's grab the white stained glass paints, the hopper, the lever, weighted pressure plate, a stone button, the birch button, a couple white banners, bucket of water, and then let's also grab the tripwire hook for now. So let's have the hopper right there and then we'll have the lever pointing down towards it. And then we'll grab the birch button, maybe place it right around there so it looks like a bar of soap. We could have a white banner there so it looks like a towel. We could have another one right there. And then let's look at the toilet. We could have a stone button at the left so it looks like the handle. And then a weighted pressure plate like that on top of the stair. Let's grab the bucket of water. We'll fill in the bathtub first. And let's go ahead and grab the deep slate tiles. I'll just swap out the hopper. And I'm going to have this for the bathtub area. So I'll carve out this space all right here and replace it. So it looks like pretty much just a tile for the bathtub slash shower that we're going to have. And we'll replace this entire back wall as well. And usually I would also replace this wall here, but these walls are only one block thick. So if I were to replace this, you'd be able to see the tiles on this side. So we're just going to be able to do that back side and this right side, which I think is good enough. It gets the point across. So let's grab the lever. We can have it right there pointing down for the shower head. And then we can have the tripwire hook down there at the bottom for the faucet. And then you could grab the white stained glass paints. We'll just have three layers in height and have two rows like that. So that's like the shower door. Now let's go ahead and move the bucket of water up out of the way and we'll just clear all these blocks. And I'll grab the birch trap doors. I'm gonna place these in front of these full blocks and then I'll go ahead and crouch and place it in front of the hopper. And then we'll grab that bucket of water, crouch and fill that in. I'll go ahead and clear all of that. And the final thing I'm going to do is maybe just have a lantern and a flower pot for the rest of the counter space. So we have the lantern there and then the flower pot. And I'll use... How about the white tulip? So we'll place that there. Have the lantern. And now I'm going to leave it at that here for this bathroom. We'll head on into this room next. This is going to be a bedroom. So I went ahead and gathered up all the blocks we're going to be using for the bed. So be sure to grab the smooth quartz blocks, the stairs, and the slabs. And then some green concrete and green terracotta. And then some snow. And I think I'm going to have the bed up against this wall. So we'll start with the full blocks of the smooth quartz. And we'll place five right here with one block remaining on each side. 
And so I have a smooth quartz stair on each side, like on each end. And it's have three upside down stairs in the middle. We could then have a layer of smooth quartz slabs on top of that. So this is the headboard for the bed. And now let's grab is the green concrete. We could go ahead and do two rows of three like that. And is that a strip of the terracotta? And is that back to the concrete? And now let's have maybe just some smooth quartz slabs around the rest of that for the rest of the frame. We could then have some snow up here for the pillows. Maybe an extra one for the middle. And that's about all I'm going to do. Let's continue with the full blocks of the smooth quartz. We could have one on each side. So that's going to be a small nightstand. Over on this wall, you know what? This is like a perfect, like a perfect spot for a TV. So let's go ahead and carve out five spaces. Just two layers in height like that. And we'll go ahead and do five stairs facing up and then upside down. And then, yeah, this is like such a good spot for a TV. So this right here will fill in here. Let me just clear all that. We'll fill it in with some black concrete. And then let's grab a stone button. So we'll have the TV right here with the stone button there at the bottom left. And now let's actually go ahead and grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz. And I'm thinking we could also just have these on each side. So just four layers on each side like this. And we could go ahead and have some item frames with a music disc. So it looks like some speakers. And then up here at the top, let's just add an extra block on each side. And let's grab the stairs again. And maybe just place these upside down here at the top. So yeah, there we go. We have this entire wall. It looks like a big entertainment area. So let's go ahead and clear that. We'll grab, I'll just use the regular item frame. And then I'll grab maybe this music disc. And I'll probably just have a total of four, so two on each side. So those are like speakers. Let's clear that. Let's grab some sea lanterns. And we'll have a little carpet right here on the floor. So I'll carve this out. How should we do this? Because I don't really want it to be up against the corner like that. We could do a little shape with it, kind of like this. I guess we could do that. We'll fill this in with the sea lanterns. And then I'll clear it and I'll go ahead and maybe use some green carpet, some gray and light gray. So we could have the patch of green here, maybe the gray right there and then some light gray. How about we just have all of this gray? Yeah, I think that flow is better. So there we go. I think I'm going to leave this bedroom just- Oh wait, I almost forgot. We have to do all the decorations for the nightstands. So let's maybe use a birch trap door and place that in front of the full block. So it looks like some storage. And then I'll grab a flower pot. And you know what? I'll just use the fern. So it kind of matches the rest of the room with the green. Yeah, that is all I'm going to do here for this bedroom. So I would think of this, since it's not really too big of a room and it's not really too decorated, I would think of this as more of a guest bedroom. So that is now all of the furnishings here for the first floor of the house. And I think everything looks nice. So we'll head on up to the second floor. We could do a table and a carpet right here at the top of the staircase. And then I'll head on... I'll head on over to this side. I'll do this bedroom and this bathroom. And then we'll leave it at that here for part six. So let's do the little decorations here at the top of the staircase first. So I'll just grab some spruce wood stairs and slabs. And we could just have a table right here. Something like that will be fine. And then let's just grab a couple of the skeleton skulls and just do that and then on each side we could go ahead and have a bush and then in the floor we'll have a carpet right here a little something like that we'll fill this in with the sea lanterns 
All right, and let's clear that. Let's grab the carpet. So I'll use maybe some white carpet, some brown, and some gray. And I think that'll be all. So I have the brown maybe over here, some gray wrapping around, and then the rest of this white carpet. And now let's grab the anvil and the jungle leaves. Now I have one in each corner. So just like this. And now we'll head on into this bedroom next. So now I have everything here for this bedroom. Be sure to grab the stripped dark oak wood, the dark oak wood slabs, dark oak wood stairs, spruce trap door, smooth quartz slab, some brown concrete, gray terracotta, and rod, sea lantern, then the two skeleton skulls, a flower pot, a few flowers for within the flower pot, lantern, anvil, jungle leaves, and then I have the light gray, brown, and gray carpet. So let's start with the stripped dark oak wood. I'm going to look at this wall. This is the wall that the bed's going to be up against. So I'll look over here more towards the left. I'm going to be two spaces away from the edge of this door frame. So we have the two blocks right here. So we're going to start on this third block. And we're going to place five. I'm just going to place one right there for now. Is that a half four next to that? So they're all in the same direction. And we'll go ahead and then fix this one. And then I'm going to have another layer on top of it. So we'll place it like that and fix this one. So that is the headboard. The switch to the brown concrete. We'll have two rows of three. And then we'll have a strip of gray terracotta and another strip of the brown concrete. Let's continue with the stripped dark oak wood. We'll look over here. And we'll have three like this all on either side. So that's going to be a little table in front of that. We could have the spruce trap doors. Let's switch to the dark oak wood stairs. We'll have one, like pretty much two side by side like that over here as well. So these are going to be the nightstands. There we go. On top of each end, we'll go ahead and have an end rod. And then on top of that, we could just go ahead and use the brown concrete. So we have some lamps. Let's mark out where the sea lanterns are going to be. And then on top of that, we'll be covered up with the carpet. So we could go ahead just around the edge of the bed, carve out a few spaces like this, bring it over, maybe till right here I think will be good. I think we'll have it more towards this side and then not as much over here. So how about we bring it over like that, bring this over. Is that too much? I feel like that is a bit too much. So we'll probably fill this in. But first, let's go over here and mark out where the little couch is going to be. So you can switch to the stripped dark oak wood. Yeah, we'll have two spaces on each side. So we're going to be having two going out like that with the one space in the middle. We'll fill this in as well. And as you can see, we have the two spaces remaining on each side. We'll fill the middle in with a smooth quartz slab. We'll have the dark oak wood stair on each side with the upside down one in the middle. And then another dark oak wood slab on each side for the armrest. So I'm just going to leave the chair just as it is on its own. We could have a bush right here in the corner though. I am going to clear all of these. Oh wait, let's grab the end or the sea lanterns and we'll fill all this in. I bring it all the way over and remember I am going to fill this back in with the spruce wood planks. And now I'm just going to clear all these blocks. I'll get rid of the sea lantern as well. And then let's grab all the carpet. And we can have just a little pattern in the floor. And you know what? Let's go ahead and have a little bit more gray carpet over here. There we go. I think that's good. And now I'll clear that. And I guess I forgot to grab the snow for the pillows. So let's be sure to get that. And we'll just have... A few layers like that. And now let's grab all these other items. So I'll start with the flower pot. Maybe just have one right here on top of the headboard with the fern. We could look over here. And I'm just going to have another one right down the middle with any other flower you want. And I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, wait. Over here, I didn't have the flower pot. 
I had one on each end of the nightstand. And then over here I had the lantern with the skeleton skulls. Oh, you know what? I just remembered I had the skeleton skulls on the nightstands. And I think that would work better since we already have the flower pot right here on top of the headboard. So I'm going to go ahead and actually replace that and then have the flower pots over here. I just think that works out a little bit better. So which one do we still need? This one. Okay. Let's use the anvil. I'm going to have one on each side over here with the jungle leaves. And then over on this side, we could just have one right here in this corner. And that is all I'm going to do here for this room. So I'll just get rid of all those blocks. And now the final thing I'm going to do here in this video is this bathroom and the little closet. So let's actually go ahead and jump right on into the closet so I have the smooth quartz stairs. And we could go ahead and just have a little shelf on each side. And could go ahead and wrap it all around right here. And maybe another shelf like that. And now, on top of all that, I'll go ahead and grab a bunch of different colored carpet so it looks like some clothes. So let's go ahead and just place all of these. So a little something like that. And you know what you could do is actually just put a couple chests in here so it looks like a bit of storage. So I'll just have maybe one right there. And then maybe two right here. And another one up here at the top. Just adds a little bit more. I'm actually going to move this one over right here. And then we'll replace that with the carpet. So yeah, I think this is good. And now I'll get rid of all of that. And I'll grab these smooth quartz stairs again. The smooth quartz blocks. And then we also need the smooth quartz slabs. And let me see if I can figure out a good layout here for this bathroom. So I think I have the design that I'm going to do. So you could grab the smooth quartz stairs. And we'll have the four over... Oh, hold up. <laughs> Make sure they're facing up. We'll have four right here. So we have three spaces remaining on each side. And then we'll curve all these together. So it's a total of eight. So that's going to be the bathtub. And then over here, I'm going to have some double sinks. So I have a full block in the middle. Skip over one space on each side. So this empty space and this empty space is where the sinks are going to be. And then over here is where the toilet will be. So I have the full block, the smooth quartz slab, and the upside down smooth quartz stair. So now let's go ahead and just gather up all the extra blocks. And I'm going to have a little carpet in the floor with maybe the cyan and the light blue carpet. So we could do a little shape right here. Right down the middle, I'm going to have maybe some white carpet. Oh, what the heck? Hang on. There we go. Yeah, I like that design. I've never... I've never done that before. I think that looks pretty cool. Alright. So there we go. We have a nice carpet in the floor there. Let's just get rid of that. And then let's grab... What do we need? We need the birch trap door. Let's grab the tripwire hook. The lever. The hopper. Birch button. Stone button, weighted pressure plate, bucket of water, and let's just grab a flower pot for now. So, let's look at the toilet first. We'll have the stone button and the weighted pressure plate. We'll look at the sink area. We'll have a lever pointing down towards where the hopper is going to be. So, we'll go ahead and place those. And then let's have a birch button on each side. So, those are like the bars of soap. Let's fill in the bathtub with the bucket of water. And then let's go ahead and add the birch trap doors in front of the sink area. And then we'll go ahead and crouch. Add the buckets of water. And then back over here, let's have the trip bar hooks. So that's like the faucet to the bathtub. Let's have a flower pot just right here in the middle where the sinks are. I'll go ahead and just clear all of that. Let's grab a flower. We'll fill that in. And then let's grab some white banners. Now I have this on each side of the bathtub. So those are like towels. Now I am just going to leave it at that here for part six. So we have all the furnishings done for the first floor of the house and half of the second floor. 
So in part seven, we'll be finishing the build. We have all the furnishings here for the second floor on this side of the house and then for the attic. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that here for part 6 for this tutorial on how to build this large traditional house. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 7. We'll then be finishing the build.